Well, you're soon going to hear them soon enough. But take a look. This is the map of their reemergence around our region. After a 17 year wait, the cicadas are soon going to be coming out and play again. Dennis Tang tonight is talking with an entomologist, a local bug expert about what to expect and if people should be worried about their trees and gardens. The good news is that most people don't have too much to worry about when it comes to cicadas. Sure, they may be noisy, but for most people, they won't cause too much trouble. It's quiet outside for now. But soon it'll be filled with the buzz in the air. Music to Jonathan Larson's ears. It is life and death and poetry all at once. They come out, they sing their songs, they mate, and then they all perish. He's talking about cicadas, specifically Brood X, which is ready to come out and play after 17 years away. I keep expecting the first phone call to happen basically any day, any minute now. Larson is an extension entomologist at the University of Kentucky. In other words, he knows a lot about bugs. Bug man John, that's what they call me. Larson says while he understands some people may get squeamish at the thought of thousands of cicadas flying around, they're mostly harmless when it comes to people. Cicadas are not stingers, they're not biters. They do have little tiny claws on their feet that can sometimes grip onto you if you're trying to play with them and pick them up. But Larson says one thing they can do some damage to are trees. The only problem that we really see with them is when the adults mate, the female wants to lay her eggs and she does that in the twigs and branches of trees. And when she lays those eggs, she slices a thin slice into the bark. In the most extreme cases, this can lead to trees dying or having their growth stunted. Though Larson says this doesn't happen often and usually affects fruit tree farmers the most. While big trees are usually fine, Larson says people with young trees recently planted can wrap their trees with a net. It's netting that has holes that are smaller than half an inch and that means that the female cicada is excluded from the tree. She can't get through there and lay her eggs anymore. But aside from that, Larson says to not worry and enjoy the show. In Louisville, Dennis Ting. It's just this amazing bug Mardi Gras. WHAS 11 News.